English speaking course. Have you finished your food yet? Hello, Henry. Hi, wait a minute. Have you finished your food yet? Not yet. Wait for me. Where are you going? We're going to Rio's house to watch a football game. Okay, remember to be careful. I know, Mom. We are not children anymore. What? You're just 15 years old. Listening to parents is good. Okay, Mom, I got it. What time will you come back? I don't know, maybe 11 p.m.? That's too late. Come back earlier. Have you gone for a morning walk? The weather this morning is so nice. It is! I opened my windows early and I felt it immediately. Have you gone for a morning walk? Sure, not only on this beautiful day, but I also go for a little walk every day. Is that your habit? That's correct. I like to go for a morning walk. That's how I get energy for the morning. I want to walk like you, but I get up so late. I used to be like you, but when you start doing it, you will be more familiar with it. Okay. I will try tomorrow morning. It can also help you keep fit a little. I know its advantages. I think everyone knows that. The matter is whether you want to do it or not. That's right! Have you visited your hometown? I'm back. Oh, Kathy, you came back. Right. I'm so tired right now. Let's see. You were gone for two weeks, right? I think more, like 16 days. So where have you been? A lot of countries. Italy, Sweden, France. Well, I can't name all of them right now. I remember you said you would visit your parents. Have you visited your hometown? Yeah, yesterday. I went back to my hometown and stayed for one night. That's great. I brought a lot of gifts for you, and they are in my suitcases. I will give them to you later. Great, you look so tired. Just go to bed and rest. I will. How did you figure that out? You know what? Our next door neighbor, Rio, his laptop has been stolen. I already knew that. And do you know who stole it? It's one of its friends named David. Oh, do you know the story? Yeah. I was the one who found out it was David. Really? How did you figure him out? The camera in front of my house could see it, so I checked it and I saw him. I see. It was not hard to figure out because my camera clearly showed him with Rio's laptop. I don't know why that guy would do such a bad thing like that. Could you please give me the receipt? Your bill is $100 in total. Okay, can I pay by card? Sure. Great, here it is. Thank you. Ah, could you please give me the receipt? Of course. I bought some things for my friends, but I couldn't remember the price. I need the bill for checking later. 
I see. Your receipt is quite long. Yeah, I bought a lot of things. Here's your receipt. Thank you. Could you please show me your passport? Hello, could you please show me your passport? Yeah, here it. Oh no, where's my passport? What happened? I can't find my passport. Did you forget it at home? I don't know, but I remember that I brought it with me. I'm afraid you can't take this flight because of this problem. I think I dropped it somewhere recently. Because when I bought the coffee, I still had it. Please contact the administrator. Maybe someone picked it up. Okay, thank you. Did you miss the ringing of the bell? Where are you today? I am at home. Where should I be? What? You are at home? Why didn't you open the door for me? I waited in front of your house for 20 minutes. Really? I didn't know that. I rang the bell many times, but you didn't open the door. I didn't hear anything. Did you miss the ringing of the bell? Ah, I got it. Maybe I was taking a shower then, about six o'clock, right? Exactly. You said that you were at home, so I came over. I'm sorry. I even called you. You know, I was taking a shower. I didn't know you called me. Are you following me? Oh, Jenny, you again. Oh my god, I can't believe it! Are you following me? No way! You're so funny! Just kidding. But we have been seeing each other accidentally today. Right! Today we've met three times, right? No, four times. Really? Yeah, the first time was at the mall. After that we met at the park. Yeah, I saw you were walking with your boyfriend. Yeah, we had a date today. And you went to the library and we met again. How can we meet all day like that? Maybe it's destiny. Do you get along with your coworkers? I'm so exhausted dealing with conflicts with my coworkers. What happened? We can't understand each other, and a lot of things have happened. The atmosphere at my office is so tense. Well, it sounds stressful. Right, I'm so tired. Do you get along with your coworkers? Luckily, we are so close. We are real friends. Really? Yeah. I felt like I found my soulmates working there. They are all so friendly, helpful, and funny. I'm kind of jealous of you. I wish I had some good co-workers. Have you talked directly with them? Of course, but they are so selfish and they just think about themselves. They live for themselves, not for others. Poor you! How can I get over this? Do you have a cab phone number? How will you go home now? My friend will come pick me up. Great. How about you? Well, I don't know. I drove here, but we have drunk some wine. I can't drive myself. It's against the law. 
Right. It will be so dangerous if you do that. I know. Do you have a cab phone number? Will you take a taxi? Right. It's the only way I can think of now. It's a great idea. It's safer. Yeah. Here, I have some cab phone numbers. I will send them to you. Thank you. Be careful. I will leave now. Bye. Do you have a female companion? Will you join the company sports festival? Sure. You know, I love playing sports. Which sport will you play on that day? I think badminton. Wow, that's great. And it's women's doubles badminton. Really? Do you have a female companion? Yes. My best friend Andrea in marketing likes badminton too. So it means she will play with you. Yeah. Well, I really want to play something, but I can't. Why? My leg hasn't fully recovered from the accident last month. Ah, I see. Do you have a meeting scheduled? Hello, Sarah. Hi, where are you going? I have a meeting. There are a lot of meetings these days. Right, we're busy now. Do you have a meeting scheduled? Let me see my notes. I can't remember all the meetings, so I need to write them down. I always note them on my phone. That's a great idea. I use my notes. What time is it? It's nearly eight o'clock. Well, I have to go now. The meeting will begin at eight and I need to go a bit early. Okay, see you later. Bye. Do you have a spouse? You look so pretty today. Thank you so much. I wonder if you have a boyfriend or not. Can you guess? Well, I suppose you have one. Actually, more than that. Really? Do you have a spouse? Just kidding. I don't have a boyfriend or a spouse. Are you telling the truth? Of course. If I had one, I would definitely show him to everyone. I can understand. But a beautiful girl like you who doesn't have a boyfriend is strange. I've thought that sometimes, but I can live happily without a man. Right. You are an independent girl. Exactly. Do you have an issue? Hey, you look unwell. Do you have an issue? Nah, I'm fine. What's wrong? Tell me. Maybe I can help. Well, actually I have some problems. I have invested all my money in stocks and I'm losing money. Oh! Now I need money. Can you help me? Sure. But I'm afraid I can't lend you much. How much do you need? About $10,000. Wow, that's quite a lot. I'm sorry, but I can't help you that much. I can lend you a grand or two. That will help me. Can I borrow two grand? Okay. I will transfer the money to your bank account. Oh, thank you so much. I will pay it back when I have it. Don't worry. Do you 
have any idea what this means. Hey, have you done the science final assignment? Not yet, Sarah. I don't have time to do that. Is the deadline this weekend? Exactly. I want to finish it soon, but I can't understand it. Do you have any idea what this means? Actually, I haven't even read the requirements. Really? You know, I have a lot of subjects this semester, and I have to do final assignments for all of them. I see. Here, I have the instructions. Can you explain them to me? Okay, let me see. I'm not sure whether I can understand it. I believe in you. In our class, you are the one who has a great score in this subject. No way! Other students are better than me. No, don't be like that. I admire you. Do you have any idea where my spectacles are? Anna, help me! What's wrong? I remember that I have just seen my spectacles, but now I can't find them. Really? Do you have any idea where my spectacles are? How would I know? Help me to find them, please. I need them. Let me see. Where could they be? Hey, Julia, do you know what I am seeing? Why are you looking at me? They're on your head. What? Oh my god, sorry. I'm speechless. Do you hear what I'm saying? Alex, will you join our class meeting this weekend? I'm pretty sure that I will. I'm free that day. That's great. Will you go? Of course. I always attend every class meeting. Okay. Do you think we should buy something to bring to it? Um, 3 p.m. Check it. Okay, good. What are you talking about? Huh? Do you hear what I'm saying? Oh, sorry. I'm checking my schedule. What did you say? Do you think that we should buy something to bring to the class meeting? That's a good idea. I agree. Do you know where I might be able to find a taxi? Hi, what are you doing here? Oh, Jenny, where are you going? I have an appointment near here. Why are you standing there? My car has some problems. I can't drive home. I'm waiting for the bus. Ah, the bus coming through here hasn't worked for two months. I think you should call a taxi. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I live near here, so I know it. Do you know where I might be able to find a taxi? Um, kind of easy. Do you see that shopping mall over there? There are a lot of taxis there. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Do you think I'll just let you go? Well, I have to go. See you guys next time. How can that be? If you want to go, you have to drink three cups. I can't. I'm so sorry. Do you think I'll just let you go? 
But I can't. I have to go see my boss now. And I can't let you go! Come on, guys. I swear to you, I'll stay longer next week when I'm free. Can we believe him? I don't think so. It's so difficult to hang with him lately. I'm so busy. I've just moved to a new company, so I need to work harder. Okay, remember next time we have to drink more. Of course. Goodbye. Bye. Have you ever traveled to Delhi? Have you ever traveled to Delhi? I heard that name before. Is it in India? That's right. Well, I haven't been there. Have you? Not yet. I'm going to have a business trip there next month. I'm so excited because I always dream to visit there once. Wow, that's wonderful. The city is famous for its unique architecture. I really want to visit the India Gate. I see a lot of pictures on the internet about that. It's amazing. It's the reason why I'm so excited to go there. Can you swim? I'm so excited! Why? Today I will go to the swimming pool with my brothers. Well, great. Do you like swimming? Sure! When I was a child, my parents told my brother to teach me how to swim. Oh, I got it. Can you swim? Yeah, I know how to, but I haven't gone to a swimming pool for a while. Do you want to go with us? It's quite near here. Can I? Sure, don't be shy. Just me, my brothers, and you. Okay, that's good. When you go, call me. Are you all right? Oh, Henry, you're here. Yeah, here. This is the document. Are you all right? I tried to run as fast as possible. Why did you run so fast? I was afraid if I was late, I couldn't give the document to you. Thank you so much, Henry. You said it was so important, so I tried my best. Luckily, you were home. Right. I had just come home 10 minutes before you called me. Wow, just in time. You should have remembered to bring it with you. What happens when I'm not at home? I know, I would have to go home myself and be late. Anyway, I have to go now. Good luck. Thanks again. Are you familiar with the Diamond Hotel's location? Today we will meet Emily, right? Yeah, we will meet at Diamond Hotel. Well, I actually don't remember the way there. We went there for the class meeting last month. I know, but I don't remember. Are you familiar with its location? Of course, it's on my way to work. That's great, so can I go with you? Sure, we can go together. What time will you go? Let me see. We told Emily that we would meet at 6 p.m. It's not near here, so we should go earlier. How about 5 p.m.? I think that's good. It usually takes me about 45 minutes to get there. Okay, see you then. Are you feeling under the weather? Daisy, where are you? I'm here! Oh, what's wrong? Are you feeling under the weather? 
Yeah, mom, a little bit. I think because I stayed up late yesterday. I told you many times that you should go to bed early. But I have a lot of homework that needs to be done, mom. I know you are trying your best to study hard, but your health is more important. I know, mom. Can you go to school today? Or will I call your teacher to let you be off today? I think I need to rest today. Okay, don't worry. I will cook some porridge for you. Thank you, mom. Are you planning on attending or not? Have you been invited to Mary's wedding? Yes, I have. I received an invitation two days ago. Are you planning on attending or not? I'm pretty sure I'll go to her wedding, although I have an important meeting that day. Well, I'm afraid that I can't attend the wedding. Why? Do you have other plans? Yeah, I have a business trip abroad scheduled before her wedding day. Oh, what a pity. I haven't told her that. I don't know how to tell her. Just say happy wedding and sorry for not attending. I'll do that. I just realized today that I can't go to the wedding. Mary's wedding will be attended by many of our old friends. It's a pity you won't be there. So sad. Are you scared? Hey, where are you going? I'm going to see the dentist. Ah, that tooth decay, right? Right. I can't stand it anymore. It must be fixed. You should have done that earlier. I know, but I'm kind of lazy when it comes to the dentist. You're scared, aren't you? If I said I wasn't, I'd be lying. Don't worry. I've had a tooth extracted before. It was not that painful. The dentist will give you a numbing medicine so you won't feel anything when he pulls it out. I believe you. Of course, it's very fast. But I see them using a lot of equipment. Sure, but your job is just lying there and trying to relax. Are you sure you weren't at the library last night? Where were you last night around 9 p.m.? Last night, uh, I was home. Where would I go at that time? Really? I thought you were at the library. I saw you there. No way. I was at home watching TV with my sister. I saw you clearly. I was going to call out to you, but you left. Maybe you mistook me for someone else. Are you sure you weren't at the library last night? Of course. I quickly forgot, but I can remember what I did in such a short time. I don't know, maybe I was wrong. You usually are. My body shape is quite common, and it was dark at that time. Maybe you were wrong. Yeah, maybe you're right. Can you help me with this? Julia, what are you doing? Hi, Anna. I'm studying for the test tomorrow. You are so hardworking. No, Anna. It's because I don't understand. It's so hard. What's that? This exercise. I didn't understand this lesson because I was sick that day. Ah, I remember this one. Can you help me with this? I'm waiting for my friend. I can help you a little while while waiting for her. That's great. It's not too difficult. You just need to understand its example. I will explain the example first. Thank you. Don't mention it.
Could you perhaps speak a little louder? Let's start the class meeting, everyone. Okay. First, I'll tell you about our class camping next week. The estimated cost is. Sorry, could you perhaps speak a little louder? I can't hear you. Oh, really? I'm talking out loud. I think the problem is not our monitor; it's the noise in class. I see many people in our class who don't pay attention in the meeting and are talking too loud. Okay, everyone, I will talk quickly, so please pay attention for a short time and remember some things about our camping trip. Sure. 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 Try to keep quiet so that other students like Amy can hear. Got, Got it. it. Could you please give me an example? After more than an hour, we still can't come to a conclusion. We haven't decided on the marketing plan. I need something new and creative. I have an idea. What's that? We can use the impact of an influencer to promote our products. Could you please give me an example? It's quite hard to explain to you now, but I can send you a short draft of my idea this afternoon. Okay, that's good. I hope you can do it well. I will try my best. Okay, that's the end of our meeting today. Have a productive day. Thank you, sir. Forgive me. Thomas, is this report yours? I'm not sure. Can I have a look? Okay. No, it's not. It is Linda's. She takes responsibility for this part. Okay. Linda, I told you to make a summary from 2010 until now. Yeah, I did. This is from 2015. Oh gosh, really? Can I check it again, please? Here you are. I checked it more than twice. I cannot be wrong. Oh my, I think I printed the draft instead of the final file. What's wrong with you? Please forgive me. I will print the new one now. My fault. Be careful next time. This is a very easy task, so I don't want to have any mistakes. Yeah, I understand. My apologies. Forget it. Excuse me, please. Yes, how may I help you? I want to order some drinks. Can I have the menu, please? Sure, here you go. Thank you. Let me see. We have some signature things at the top of the menu. You can take a look at them. Okay, can I have an orange juice, please? Do you want a regular or large size? I'll have a large, please, without ice. Okay. An orange juice without ice coming up. Oh, sorry. I wanted freshly squeezed orange juice. I'm sorry, we only have bottled juices. It's okay. Forget it. So sorry for the inconvenience. Okay. Bless you. Patrick, is that you? Lily, hello! Well, well, Patrick Dauber. How have you been? Good. Great, actually. How are you? I haven't seen you for... how long? It's been ages! 
At least five years. Yeah, I don't think it's been that long. So what are you doing here? I thought you'd move to Paris. I was in Paris for a couple of years. But everything was not good. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But choop! Bless you. Are you okay? I'm fine. Recently, the weather has changed, so it makes me sneeze all the time. I see. How bad the weather is here. Yeah. Uh, anyway, how about you? Me? Oh, nothing much. It's very thoughtful of you. Mom, this is Tom, my boyfriend. Tom, this is my mom, Anna. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I bought some fresh fruit on the way here. I hope you like it. Oh, it's very thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. Don't mention it. It is what I should do. Sit down, please. Thanks. Would you like some coffee? Sure. Emma tells me your coffee is the best. Haha. <laughs> you are so sweet. I hope you like it. I absolutely will. Make yourself at home. I will come back in a few minutes. It's up to you. Excuse me, Mrs. Turner? Yes, Diana. How can I help you? I'm sorry, but I can't come to class next Wednesday. I have a doctor's appointment. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. Which day can I join a makeup class, please? I have other classes on Monday and Thursday. You can come to any class. It's up to you. Sure. I think I will come in on next Thursday. That's fine. Is there anything I can do at home? You need to read chapter four of the book. And don't forget to do your homework. Okay, thank you for your support. It's none of your business. Come in. Linda, why are you still here? Tony is waiting for you. It's none of your business. Come on, are you arguing again? I told you, it's none of your business. Leave me alone. Tony asked me to let him in to meet you. And don't let him come in. I don't want to see him. You are such a child. Ben, you should be by my side, not his. I let him in already. He is waiting for you in the living room. Not cool, Ben. Not cool. Come on. You should deal with each other. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't care anymore. I made it. Tommy, today you have a letter from GP University. Really? What does it say? I haven't opened it yet. I put it on the table in the living room. I'm so curious. Why did they send me a letter and not an email? Let's check it. Mom, I made it. What's up, sweetie? I got a scholarship for the next semester at GP University. Unbelievable. Oh my, this is amazing. Congrats, my son. Thanks, Mom. I thought I failed. My essay wasn't really good, but I made it. Mom, I made it. I'm so proud of you. How can I go to the city center? I 
I think we are lost. I don't think so. We just passed a stone bridge following the guideline. We need to get to the city center. But look, we're going further into the forest. Is it? Yeah, the houses are super sparse. Should we stop at a house to ask them? That's a great idea. Excuse me. Yes? How can I get to the city center? We're going to the city center, but I think we got lost. Oh, it is far from here. Go back to the stone bridge and turn left before getting on it. Then go straight for around two kilometers. You will see a petrol station. There's a direction sign there. You can follow it. Okay, thank you. Can you do me a favor? Hi, Anna. Can you do me a favor? Yeah, what is it? Would you mind cooking dinner tonight? I'm kind of busy. Sure, Jenny. What would you like for dinner? Could I trouble you to make some pasta? That sounds good. Let's have pasta. Which type of sauce should I make? Anything. I'm not a picky eater. But if possible, cheese sauce is always the best. Unfortunately, I don't know how to make the cheese sauce. What about tomato sauce? Yum. Good idea. Okay, let's do it. Thanks, Anna. That really helps me out. No problem. I like fairly hot tea. Let's go get something to drink. That's a good idea. I'm really thirsty. What do you want to drink? I kind of want a can of soda. You shouldn't drink soda when you're really thirsty. What do you mean? I don't understand. When you're thirsty, soda is less hydrating than other drinks because of its caffeine and sugar content. So what drink should I have? Water is what's best for you. Well then, guess I will have a bottle of water. I'll get you warm water. It is so cold today, it's better for you. Okay, what do you want to drink? I like fairly hot tea. Why? I want to warm myself, and tea is also very tasty. Is everything all right? James, what is wrong with him? He has fainted. Why? He came to school without having breakfast. Do you know his parents' phone number? I don't know, but maybe Danny knows. He's the class monitor. Then can you go ask and call Thomas's dad? I will take him to the medical room. Yes, I'll go now. Hey, Thomas, is everything all right? I have a stomach ache. Just lie there. Your dad is coming soon. You should drink some warm water. I'll try to get you something to eat. Thank you so much. Can you turn the volume up? Is this the weather forecast? No, not yet. The weather forecast is going to be on air in 15 minutes. Okay. Can you turn the volume up? I can't hear the voice clearly. Sure. Is it loud enough? A little louder, please. Sure, Dad. Now it's better. Thanks, pumpkin. Don't mention it. Will you go out tomorrow? Yeah, I need to go see my doctor. What happened? Are you sick? Why didn't you tell me? No, no. I just need to check my teeth annually. What do you think?
I think we should go to the History Museum this weekend. What do you think? I don't like this kind of museum, to be honest. Do you have any other ideas? Mm -hmm. I like outdoor activities. What about going to the water park? That's a great idea. The weather is so hot recently. Jane, what do you think? What? What are you saying? Come on, we're talking about plans this weekend. You didn't listen to us from the beginning. Sorry, I have no idea. It's up to you. Okay, we will choose whatever we want. And if you don't like it, it's on you. Sure. What did you succeed in? What did you succeed in? I don't know if it matters to anyone or not, but passing the university entrance exam was a huge success for me. How old were you? I was 18 years old. I graduated from the university after three years. Was there anyone who supported you? My family supported me a lot. My mom prepared good meals for me while my dad helped me with my final report. We have many good memories. I believe you have put forth great effort into your success. I stuck to books day and night. I didn't stop reading and writing until I felt I knew the subjects thoroughly. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm going home. Are you coming from the library? Yes, I've been there since 2 p.m. What book do you have? It's a science book. Do you have a member card? Yes, I've been a member since January 2020. How did you get it? You could ask the library staff there. The process is easy. What's the membership fee? You must deposit $25. How many books can we borrow at a time? We may borrow three books at a time. Thank you. Well, I will soon become a member of the library. I don't need you. Halsey, come here. What's up, Mommy? Ben doesn't understand this math exercise. Can you help him with it? I don't know. Let me take a look at it. I don't need you, Mommy. I want you to explain it to me. I don't want to study with you either. I am finishing a task. I need to submit it within the hour. I don't want Halsey! Be nice, Ben. She is good at math. She will help you first. Then after I finish, I will come to you. Okay. Halsey, take him upstairs. Sure. Let's go, Ben. Don't move. Henry? Yeah! Wait for me! Leo! Henry, don't move. A bus is coming. Leo! Gotcha! Henry, is everything okay? Yes! Yes! Sorry! I saw you and I didn't notice the bus! I see. So, what's up? Why are you in such a hurry? This is for you! What is that? An invitation letter! For what? A secret party! When? Where? My house! Tonight! What? You have a party on Monday? Yeah! 
We can have a party every day! Ha <laughs> ha! That's insane. You need to come! I will think about it. Come on! There are many interesting things! You will like them! I told you, I will think about it. Anyway, thanks for inviting me. Don't worry. Nina. Hey, what's up? Do you have the tickets for the play? No, not yet. I'm going to buy them this afternoon. Oh, good. Good. Listen, don't buy tickets for this Friday. Oh, why not? I can't go to the theater on Friday. But you said... I know. Something's come up. How about next week? Are you free then? I can definitely go next Friday. You're always delaying. I'm so sorry. Next Friday, I promise. Next Friday is my nephew's birthday. How about next Thursday? Mm. Come on, just this last time. Okay, but promise me next Thursday, okay? Don't worry, I promise. Enjoy yourself. Congratulations, my dear. I'm glad you came today. Definitely. Today is your important day. Happy wedding. Thanks so much. Who's that? Ah, Peter, this is Anna. Anna, this is Peter, my boyfriend. Oh my, nice to see you. Why didn't I recognize you? I saw you in Phoebe's picture. Nice to see you too. Phoebe tells me a lot about you. I hope those are all good things. Yeah, of course. I need to go over there. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, sure. Follow me. Hello? Hello, can I help you? I want to borrow some books. What do I need? You need a library card first. How do I get one? Follow me. Here's the application form. Please fill it in. How many books can I borrow? You can borrow five books maximum at once. Okay, five books. All right, you have to bring them back after 10 days. What if I'm late? If you are late, there's a fee of 30 cents a day. Okay. These are the library rules. You can take a look. Thank you. Hotel. Good evening, this is Hannah from Amanda's Hotel. How can I help you? Hello, I'd like to make a reservation to stay from the 18th to 20th of November. May I have your name, please? Please call me John. What type of room do you want, Mr. John? I would like to have a double room with a beach view. Are there any rooms like that available? Luckily, we have one room left, but the price is a little bit high. That will be $1,500 for three days and two nights, sir. It's okay, I can handle it. Thank you so much for choosing us, sir. May I have your phone number for contact? Sure. 080-4579. Thank you, Mr. John. Your reservation has been made for a beach view double room on November 18th. Your check-in time is 9 a.m. 
If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us through this number. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you next week. Newspaper Magazine Sally, are you free now? Yes, Grandpa, I'm free. What's wrong? Can you go to the newsstand and buy a newspaper for me? Sure, Grandpa. What newspaper can I buy for you? The New York Times. I want to read political news today. Do you want me to buy any magazines? Hmm. I don't read magazines, but your grandma does. You can buy a magazine for her. What type of magazine does she read? I'm not so sure. Maybe women magazine, I guess. Even though she's old, she always reads about fashion and beauty. All right, Grandpa. Let me go buy a newspaper and magazine for you guys. A museum. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Well, I intended to stay at home until a friend asked me to go to an art museum. An art museum? Where is it? It's at 20 Main Street. What can we see there? Well, you can see a lot of artwork. Last Sunday, we visited the photography gallery and it was fantastic. Wow. Really? What was the theme about? It was about the ocean. We could enjoy a lot of photos which were taken underwater. It must be so amazing. Yeah, I felt like I was actually in the ocean. There were several photos about flora and fauna. Fair enough to say it was an unforgettable experience. Sounds interesting. I'll give it a go next week. Favorite subjects. Hey, Bob, what are you studying? I'm just doing math exercises. Ugh. Math, ugh. I hate it so much. Really? For me, I really love math. Also, I enjoy studying physics and chemistry. I like working with numbers rather than writing a long essay. Wow, I'm totally opposite to you. I love English literature. I also enjoy writing reports in history class. But I'm not really good at numbers. We should help each other to study, you know? Definitely. Weather. What is the weather like in your home country, Lisa? Well, it's usually hot and sunny throughout the year in Thailand. Really? Is there snowfall in your country? No, it never snows. Sometimes it's cold but not as cold as in England. I see. What is the hottest month in Thailand? April, I guess. How about in England? It's obviously July, but honestly, it's not that hot to me. It's kind of warm. Wow. What is your favorite weather? I love rain, just like it is raining right now. I love listening to the raindrops. I like rainy days too. Favorite movies. Sarah, 
What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Jack. What a coincidence. We're going to watch a movie. Did you come with anyone else? Yeah, I came here with my friend. She's buying popcorn and Cokes right over there. Ah, I see. What kind of movie are you going to watch today? My friend and I both love horror movies. So we're going to watch the Dracula one at 1420. Oh, horror movies. I guess I cannot join you guys. I'm not really into that type of movie. It's okay. I guess you came here for a sci-fi or a detective one? Yeah, how did you know that? But actually, the movie I want to watch is at 3 p.m. I still have plenty of time, so I'll probably wander around this mall first. Oh, alright. See you then. Bye-bye. Have fun with your movie. Clothing. Emma, help me. What happened, Maria? I have a date tomorrow, and I don't know what to wear. How about a crop top and a skirt? I already wore that outfit for my first date. This time, I want to be a little more graceful. Then I suggest you wear a white dress. You will definitely look more elegant. Hmm, I don't have a white dress. I only have a black one. But it's not a good idea to wear a black dress, right? Hmm, I think it will work well if you're going out for dinner. You may be more charming and mysterious in a black dress. Wow, what a great idea. I think I will wear my black dress. Thank you so much for the suggestion. You're welcome. Good luck with your date. Parties. Hey, Alex. Are you coming to Tony's birthday party tonight? Tony's party? I wasn't invited. Oh, don't worry. Actually, he invited everyone in our school. First come, first serve. Oh, really? What can we do at his party? I heard that his house is big enough for 100 people, so maybe there will be a lot of snacks and drinks. His house also has a swimming pool, so people will have fun. Wow, a party at the pool. Sounds fun. Do you know what time the party starts? At 7.30. The gate will be closed at 8 p.m., so make sure you come before then. All right. Do you want to go with me? Sure, let's go together. All right. I will meet you at your house at 7.15. Okay, see ya. Traffic Jam Do you often get stuck in a traffic jam, Anna? Luckily, not so often. But I did get stuck in a traffic jam this morning. Oh, really? How did you come? By train? No, I want to work by bus. The bus this morning was full of people. I couldn't find any seats, and I had to stand for 45 minutes. Gosh, it must be so terrible. I know. How about you? Have you ever experienced a traffic jam? Yeah, but only once. Last month, when I was driving my family on a vacation, I got stuck in a traffic jam for two hours. Two hours? You could have slept while waiting. Yeah, I did fall asleep a few times. Friends. Do you have any best friends, Tracy? Yes, I have one. 
but my best friend is not in the same class as me. Who is it? She's Luna. She's in class B. She has short, curly blonde hair and a beautiful smile. She's very friendly and always helps me when I'm in need. What a good friend. Yeah. How about you? Who are your best friends? Fortunately, my best friends are also my classmates. They are Luke and James. Oh, so you guys are best friends? Yeah, we've known each other since we were five years old. We went to the same kindergarten, primary school, junior high school, and now high school. Wow, amazing. I'm sorry. Hello? Hi, is Dan there, please? I'm sorry. I think you have the wrong number. Is this 432-228-1163? Yes. Who are you looking for again? Daniel Kitty. Oh, I thought you said Ken. Sorry about that. This is the right number, but Dan's not here right now. Do you know where he went? He went to the store to buy some groceries. Would you like to leave a message? Yes. Would you please tell him that Josh Martin called? Oh, hi Josh. This is his roommate Jack. I met you a couple months ago at the Easter party. Alright, how are you? Good. Dan will be back in about 20 minutes. I'll tell him you called. Great, thanks. Bye-bye. I can't believe it. How do you like the food? It tastes really great. Did you cook it? Yes, I made it this afternoon. Would you like some more? Okay, just a little though. I'm really full. Oh, would you like some soup instead? What kind is it? Chicken and corn. Have you had that before? No, this is my first time. It's good. Try some. What do you think? Wow, it is really good. Did you make that also? Yes. You're a really good cook. I can't believe it. Thanks. Next time I'll make pumpkin soup for us. That sounds good. Are you in culinary school? No, I taught myself. I like reading cookbooks when I have time. What do you mean? Danny, will you help me take these things to the car? Sure. Which car? Bring them to my wife's car. Where should I put them? The back seat, please. Wow, this is really heavy. Where are you taking all this stuff? Didn't I tell you? We're moving to Florida. What do you mean? You're moving now? Yeah, that's right. I knew you were moving, but I thought you said you were moving next month. My wife found a new apartment on the internet the other day, and we decided to move right away. Drive slowly. How are you today? I'm great. Just a bit tired. I got up early this morning for no reason. Oh, you rarely get up early. Yeah, I think it is why I'm exhausted now. How about you? I'm so-so. I got a new project this week. It's a bit busy. I really enjoy it. I'm glad to hear that. Tim, be careful. Drive slowly. Oh, sorry. I lost my concentration. Be careful. There are many accidents on this road. 
I know. I'll focus from now on. Yeah, you should. She won't change her mind. Did you ask your mom? Ask what? Did you forget about our field trip? It's next week. We need to finalize the number of people to get ready. Oh yeah, she said no. Come on, let's convince her. This is our first trip together. I hope we can all go. She won't change her mind. I'm so sorry. Or I can come to convince her. She really likes me. Can you? Yeah, I can come by this evening. Is your mom home? I think so. Thanks for helping me. I really want to go. She will say yes. Believe me. Thanks. Did you get it? Sweetie, where are you? I'm in the kitchen. What are you doing there? I'm learning to bake. Oh, wow. That's amazing. What are you making? Apple pies. You know, I always like apples. Great. But remember to clean up when you're done, okay? Okay. I can clean now while I wait for the pies to bake. Okay. I am happy that you like cooking. You have no match. Are you going to take part in the painting competition at the school? Yeah, I just registered last week. What is the first prize? A bicycle and a painting course in the summertime. Oh, that's perfect. I'm sure you'll win. I hope so, but I'm not really confident in my ability. Come on, you have no match. Trust me, you can do it. No doubt about it. Thanks, but I'm so nervous. It's open to all the schools in the area. You should practice a bit harder. I can help you. How? I will cheer you on. Haha. <laughs> I knew it. Hey, Peter and I broke up. I knew it! Huh? How did you know? I haven't told anyone. But Peter did. He told me yesterday. Okay. That's it. I dumped him. Will you tell me why? I always thought you and Peter had the best times together. Yeah, but you know, he made a cut cold out of me. Yesterday, Peter told me it was a misunderstanding. No, I saw him eating out with another girl. How can he explain it? He can. She's his cousin. What? Yeah, he told me yesterday. Why didn't he tell me directly? Liar. You blocked him. He tried to call you and waited for you at your house. In theory, that's a good plan. What are you doing this weekend? I'm not sure. What are you doing? I was thinking of driving to the beach. That sounds like a great idea. Would you like to join me? Sure, I would love to go with you. When we leave. 4 a.m. this Saturday morning, we can see the sunrise. In theory, that's a good plan. But I don't think we can wake up at 4. Well then, we will skip the sunrise. I'll pick you up at 8. Is that okay? Great. Do you know that there will be a music festival there? That is part of my plan. Cool. See you on Saturday.
I'm sorry, I can't assist you. Hi, how can I help you? I bought this cooker here, but it stopped working. Now you want to use the warranty, right? Yes, that's right. How long ago did you buy it? A month. I think it comes with a one-year warranty. Can you show me the warranty card, please? Oh, I think I forgot it at home. We can only check it when we have the warranty card. Okay, I will come back tomorrow with the card. I'm sorry, I can't assist you. No worries, I understand. What are you doing? Julia, I'm back. Hi. What are you doing? I'm cooking dinner. Why are you cooking so early today? Are you kidding me? Don't you know what time it is? What time is it? It's 6.30 p.m. Oh God, it's really that late? I never noticed. Be quick, I'm nearly done. Okay, just a minute. I need to change my clothes and put away the bag. Sure. Today I made your favorite dish. Fried chicken? Exactly. That's great. I will be quick. Wait for me. Where would you like to go? Wow, your house is so big. Sit down, please. Are you tired? You've come a long way to be here. No, I'm so excited right now. Will you be here for a week? That's right, but if I want, I can stay longer. It's up to you. I will show you around. I can't wait. Where would you like to go? I don't know. I want to check out some famous places here. It's easy and try some local food. Sure, I've discovered a lot of food stores and street foods here. I love trying food everywhere I go. Okay, please have a little rest and we will go in the evening. What's the matter? We broke up, Hannah. What? Are you serious? Of course. You know I'm always serious about all of my decisions. But what's the matter? I can see that David really cares about you. He is nice, right? Yeah, I used to think like you. But yesterday, I found out his secret. What's that? is still in contact with his ex. And even more shocking, they've been in contact for three months. What? Is he crazy? How could he do that? He told me that he would end that relationship. But I can't accept a man who lied to me like that. Yeah, you're right. You can't believe him anymore. If he loves you as he said, he would not do that. Exactly. I can't forgive him, although I still love him. Come on, he doesn't deserve your love. I'm trying to overcome and not cry anymore. What size do you wear? How can I help you? Hi, I want to find a shirt that is suitable for an interview. I got it. What color do you like? Which color do you think is suitable? Well, I think white is the most basic one and it's suitable for every situation, including an interview. Okay, I will consider that. Yeah. How about the style? What do you mean? I mean, 
basic, girly, or formal, or something like that. Find me a basic one, please. Okay. I think this one is good for you. Mm, looks good. But I think it's a bit small for me. You have a bigger size. What size do you wear? Would you like chicken or pasta? Henry, your mom is not at home today. Oh, where is she? I don't know. She has just called me. What about our dinner? Well, we can't cook. We should order something to eat. That's great. I always want to order, but mom doesn't allow that. Sure. She always thinks that foods from outside are not good for our health. Yeah, but what should we eat, Dad? I don't know. Your choice. Would you like chicken or pasta? I think chicken is better. But I want both. Okay, only today, Henry. And don't tell your mom. If she knows, she will get angry. I know, Dad. What is he like? You know what? Today my office has a new intern. Oh, boy or girl? Boy. What does he look like? He's tall and quite handsome. Okay. Interesting. But he's too young. We're older than him. What about his personality? He has a sense of humor. I really like his smile. Good. But he made me crazy. Why? He knows nothing about this field. I have to teach him everything. I'm so tired. Oh, God. I know. I shouldn't have much expectation for an intern. But he knows nothing. Exactly nothing, you know? Okay. Try your best to help him. Because at first, we were also like that. Yeah, maybe you're right. Are you hungry? Finally, we're done. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so tired. That's right. We have worked since 8 a.m. What time is it now? Let me see. Can you guess? It's probably around 7 p.m. No way. Do you think we finished everything that early? Really? So what time is it? It's 10 p.m. already. Can't believe it. We paid so much attention to the work and forgot everything around. Yes. Oh, I'm so exhausted. I need to take a rest. Are you hungry? Of course. Let's go eat and then go home to sleep. Okay. How do you feel about him? Today I had a blind date. What? My parents introduced me to a man. Alice, you never told me before. I didn't want to go, but my parents forced me to go. What's he like? Quite mature, bright, and intelligent. Sounds good. What is his job? He's the head of the accounting department of a company. I think he's quite suitable for you. Well, I don't know. How do you feel about him? I felt nothing. I have no feelings for him. Well... May I open the window? Oh, 
Oh, you're at home. Right. Didn't you go to work? Today I'm kind of tired, so I asked my manager to work from home. I got it. But why do I feel a bit hot in our house? Ah, uh, I turned off that air conditioner. Let me turn it on. No, don't need to do that. It's not that hot. Okay. May I open the window? Sure. Let's have some fresh air. It's also pretty cool outside. Sounds good. Would you like to have dinner with me? Thank you so much for helping me with the project. No thanks needed. Well, without you, I couldn't do it successfully like that. No. I just supported you a little bit. You did a great job. Okay. It's quite late now and we haven't eaten any. Would you like to have dinner with me? That's great. I'm kind of hungry now. Me too. What would you like to eat? I'm not a picky person. I can eat anything. Good. I know a good hot pot restaurant over here. What do you think? Well, a hot pot in this cold weather is wonderful. Let's go. The more we talk, the hungrier I feel. Sure. I have so many things to do. What are you doing this weekend? Well, I have so many things to do. Why are you always so busy? Because I have two jobs. That means you have to work on the weekend. Yeah, right. I'm really stressed. Is there anything I can do to help you? Oh, not really. It's just work and school stuff. I think you need to make time for yourself. I know. Let's get dinner together next weekend. Great idea. I have a small favor to ask you. Excuse me, I have a small favor to ask you. Sure, what is it? Can you help me with my math? Okay. What is your problem? I will try to solve it. I don't understand this part. Oh, let me see. Here, I took Sarah's notes because I was not present in the class when you were taught this math. But I didn't understand anything from her notes. It seems too complex to me. What can I do now? So you missed the class? Yeah. All right. For exercises like this, you need to draw shapes. Like this. Oh, I got it! So, do you understand now? Yes, I understand. Thank you very much. No problem. Don't talk to me like that. Tom, did you finish your homework? I will do it later. Your room is messy. Clean it up now. Yes, Mom. And did you water the plants in the garden this morning? Just a few more minutes, Mom. Hey, don't talk to me like that. Get up and do your chores right now. You're too lazy. You spend all day playing video games. Sorry, Mom. I'll do it right now. The letter must be delivered. Good morning. What can I do for you today? Good morning. I have to send this letter to Thailand, please. Okay. We have to send it by air. It will get there in about seven days. Seven days? It's too long. The letter must be delivered urgently. So I want to send it by speed post. All you have to do is fill in this form. 
How much will it cost? Well, as it is out of country, it will cost you $50. Just fill in your name, address, as well as the name and address of the receiver in this form and hand it over to me. Here it is. Please take the receipt. Keep it in case of any complaint. Thank you. And here's the money. Here's the change. Thank you. You are welcome. A mistake was made. There's something I need to tell you. Yeah, what is it? A mistake was made. I accidentally told Ella your secret. What? Are you kidding me? I'm so sorry. Why did you tell her my secret that I like her? That day, I was drunk and I misspoke. I sincerely apologize to you. I really regret it. All right, this could be a good thing. I will confess to her. Wonderful, but will you forgive me? Yes. Calls the shots. Did you read the newspaper? No, what's wrong? The chairman of Golden Corporation has passed away. Oh my God, that's bad. He dedicated himself to the company. Yeah. So now, who will be the heir to the corporation? When he died, his young son took the job. Now he calls the shots and is making a lot of changes. It's too early to tell whether he can really handle the job. You are right. Please turn off the television. Let's do something. Like what? Why don't we go out for dinner or go dancing? No, I'm watching TV. You're always watching TV. Stop being such a couch potato. Get up and do something. I am doing something. What? I'm watching TV. You're always watching some silly program. It's a waste of time and mental energy. Sometimes it's nice to relax and laugh a little. But you've been watching TV for five hours. Please turn off the television and go out. All right, all right, you talk too much. You have a point. I think that the company retreat should be in the mountains this year. What a great idea. I've chosen January as the month for this retreat. I like the mountain idea but I'm not so sure about the month of January. January is a little too close to Christmas. Yes, maybe another choice might be better. I think April would work. April has good weather that isn't too cold or too hot. You have a point. Maybe if we asked around, we could see what people would prefer. That is a good idea. I'll organize the survey and get back to you with the answers. Okay. Could I borrow your notebook? Good morning, how are you? Come in. I'm fine. How about you? I'm fine too. Why have you come here so early in the morning? Is anything wrong? Yes. I have come to you for an urgent necessity. I need your help right now. Yeah, what's that? I borrow your notebook. My laptop is broken and I haven't fixed it yet. Of course, why not? You are so kind, thank you so much. No problem. I will return it to you early tomorrow morning. It's okay.
I can swim every Tuesday. Can you teach me to swim? I suppose that I can teach. Great! How did you learn to swim? My father threw me into a lake when I was four years old. Oh my god, you could have drowned. I could have, but I swam instead. So is that how you plan to teach me? No way. Anyway, this way is very dangerous. You're right. By the way, when can we start learning to swim? I can swim every Tuesday. Okay, so see you next Tuesday. Yeah, see you later. Thank for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for a more useful video.